Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Now today, as you've seen by the title today, we are going to be showing you and how to get your actual screen resolution stretched on Fortnite. Now if you don't know what this means, this basically means that you can have a wider angle on Fortnite and you can see a lot more in the game than the restricted actual view that you already have. So right now what Fortnite do is support you by 1980 by 1080 or 1920 by 1080 that's kind of the resolution but from this we're going to expand it so you can pretty much see very wide and far and basically would be kind of having the advantage of having an ultra wide monitor but be able to see further than that. Now to be able to do this you do have to have PC again it's a very big downside and I don't have PC myself but I know how to do it and I'm trying to find a way on Xbox how to do it as well. But today, for those people who do want to do it and are on PC, we are going to be explaining how to do it. And to be fair, we might not have always have the screenshots on how to do it, but literally just listen. And if you're all confused by anything, there's steps in the description as well just to help you out. But while I explain it, I'll literally just be playing a game. So if you want to join in, obviously watch, then you more than cable can just watch me. It's obviously quite fun to watch. I'm just playing a normal game, really. But I'll also leave the text on screen to understand like all the key information which you need to understand. But apart from that, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to me. We're trying to do more Fortnite content. Hit that like button. It really does help out. It helps our video get out there a lot more. And if we can get our video out there a lot more, then from that, we can gain it bigger as an audience. And that is really big from you guys. But apart from that, this obviously hopefully changed my HUD so I can actually see what my inventory is. And we'll get straight into the actual glitch. There we go, guys. We've now got it back. So starting off, the first thing you want to do is literally go all the way over to your settings and change it from full screen to window. That is the first thing. And what you want to do is make sure it's 16 by 150, then afterwards apply. Your screen will change and it will kind of go all weird and stuff like that. But what you want to do is actually take it out of kind of the whole like, full window area and push it to the top so it expands. So if you don't understand what I mean, kind of like minimize the actual kind of desktop for Fortnite or the application, but put it so it's minimized so you can see the screen, but it's not fully covering your screen. Then after, you want to drag by clicking the top of the actual application, so being Fortnite itself, hold it to the top of your actual screen, and then from there, it should expand it, and that's the first thing you want. Now, as you can see, that's got you correctly, and that is pretty much what you want at first, because that's going to obviously give you kind of the stretch bit, which will be able to make you see a lot more. The only problem is now, is that you have that kind of massive area where obviously that you've got everything, and you kind of want to get rid of it really, because like, you've got that tab in the way, and it's very annoying when you think about it. So just to recap, once you've changed from full screen to window, you want to minimize it, making sure it's kind of like a mini screen, so kind of like having a like mini TV on your actual kind of computer screen, then drag it to the top so it goes fully expanded again, and that should stretch it out with the kind of taskbar being quite high up, and obviously it restricting more of the view, and to be fair, the view should be kind of restricted, and like I said, screenshots will be available throughout the video so you can see what I do mean. Now as you can see right now on screen, it looks obviously this is how it would normally look for Xbox and obviously PC, that's how it would normally look, but for you it should be stretched and you can already see on the whole PC, you can see almost it's a further out, as if you've been like zoomed out a bit, so you can see more around it, you can see more of the background, you can see there's more people around as well. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is go and go to your taskbar by simply literally going to the edge of the taskbar and literally dragging it all the way to halfway. So right now it's probably like minimal, but you've kind of got that black screen like I said earlier, and you want to drag it to the highest point it does go to. Then obviously what I should do, this is allowing you to get rid of the taskbar and making it easier for you, and it should give you a kind of a black section, so in a minute we'll get it fully done so you can literally just see the game and it'll be really good for you. Then after you've done that, all you want to do is literally just go to your graphics card area and to the control panel area. Then what you want to do is go over to the kind of resolution bit and put it to customize. Then once you've done it to customize, you want to remember the actual kind of resolution you did have earlier, which it would have been when you changed from full screen to window. So if you can remember that, you can always go back on it if you want to, but you have to change it and put the actual kind of resolution settings customized in the control panel. So for instance, it could be like something 544 as in like that, and you just put it in, times it, and obviously after you've done it, all you want to do is pretty much run it, render it, after you've done that, literally just press OK. So it's obviously tested, and obviously click the right one, so it's actually changed fully, so you can be able to do it. That's pretty much the penultimate step, and as you can see, that's really easy from now on, and what you're going to be able to have to do now, is be able to get that stretch resolution. Now once you've actually done that, you can see that it's all kind of fitted, you kind of zoomed out a bit more, it's all fitted into the area, you can see wider around, which again is very helpful. 
Now from what you want to do now is literally go over to your taskbar, right click on it to be able to get the settings and you want to go over it, change to auto hide taskbar. Then what that should do is just pretty much hide the taskbar, you want to turn that on and from there you have the full screen as if you were playing Fortnite except it's more kind of widened, you can see around fully and it's easier to do. So as you can see guys from this, you can see a lot around it, your kind of screen is a lot wider and like I said earlier, it's kind of like playing on an ultra wide monitor when you think about it, people because when you're an ultra wide monitor, your graphics card has to be better and also you can see more around it because you know you've got that ultra wide bit. So guys, you gotta think how easy it was to do. It's probably taken me no more than about five, six minutes to explain this, and it's very helpful for you guys because you can play a lot better, you can see more enemies around you, and to be fair, it's gonna give you a big advantage when playing the game, especially when you're kind of in that final top 10 area, the zone's closing in, you can't see behind you, you can't see how much you're left or right, this is going to be allowing you to see a lot more around you, making it easy to play the game. And to be fair, I don't really see this as a cheat. It's just something that Fortnite haven't stopped in the game, and it's easy to do, really, when you think about it. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much it. I've pretty much explained how to do it. I'll obviously leave all the steps down in the description so you understand. But just to recap everything, I'll go over it all now. And like I said, I've left screenshots where I can to hopefully explain everything. So the first step we want to do is change from full screen to window, apply it, then your screen should change. Now it should go to about 1680 to 150, that's probably the normal thing. And then from there, what you want to do is kind of minimize it, come out to the thing, and kind of push the actual window off Fortnite to the top so it expands fully. Then you, what you want to do is actually apply it all so it's all there, grab the taskbar, put it to the highest point as you can. Then after you've done that, all you want to do from there, that will stretch out the game so it makes it even better so you can see more. Then from there, what you want to do is go over to your graphics control panel. From there, what you want to do is change it to the settings that you did have on your graphics. This will all be in the settings area, so while you're doing this, you can actually see what's happening. Change it to that, and then press customize, obviously apply it all so it's all good. And then from there, you should be able to get everything correct. And then from there, it should render out, stretch out more so you can actually see more around it when you actually look at it. And then once that's done, all you got to do is just obviously apply it. Then what you want to do is go over to your taskbar, which you did stretch out earlier, right click on it, change the settings to auto click off or auto hide. So I put it to on. And then what that should do is hide the taskbar, expand it more. And then from there, you can see what happens. You literally just get a massive taskbar, which again is so handy for you because obviously you can have a wide stretch actual kind of monitor, making it super easy. So there you go guys, that is the glitch, it was super easy to do, I hope I did explain everything correctly for you guys, I believe I did, I had all my notes down so I knew what I was talking about, and obviously like I said, unfortunately I couldn't show you on the actual PC doing it, but I've explained it, all the steps are down below, and also I've left some screenshots in the video if I could. But with that said, that is going to be in the video, I hope you did enjoy it, if you are seeing me for the first time around, make sure to subscribe, I'll do more Fortnite glitches if I can, hit that like button, turn on notifications, and if you've done all three steps, you might as well enter the giveaway, it's super easy to do, and why not do it. But like I said, I've got some more kind of in real life, and if I do hit 15k subs, then I'll do a face reveal, and I might do a face reveal before that, because I'm looking at these kind of abandoned places, I'm looking forward to it, it's kind of fun to do, we just gotta find the right one, and obviously get the right people to do it with me, and obviously there'll be a trial run version, I might release it to certain people, you know, it might be kind of like a teaser, and then from there, obviously we'll release it fully and see what people do think. But apart from that guys, until next time, see ya.